We're here with defensive line coach Max Lilly as we preview our, our defensive line group here during the spring. Uh, coach, you've got a couple of uh, leaders in that room and, and Ryan Gatrell who you know has seen it all, done it all here at Concord. You have uh, DeAnthony Hughes who has joined us from the University of Richmond. What do you expect from those two guys as leaders in the spring? Uh, well, I think Ron's in a different role this spring because he's nursing some injuries that he had in the fall. And he, he's kind of accepted that, being more of a coach this spring, uh, taking a different angle, and that's helping him learn in his development as well. Uh, being an older guy, a guy that's been around, is loads of help for all our, our young defense line. Uh, DeAnthony is, uh, you know, he, he's just a joy to coach. Uh, he's professional in everything that he that he does. Um, it's very good when you have such a young group of defense linemen, have a guy with so much experience be able to come in. And he's not only that, he's a great player, but he's a great person. He's a professional in what he does. He attacks every single day with that mindset. So having those two guys in the room, it helps incredibly uh, growing this young group. Yeah, a young guy that really broke out last year in his first year as a full-time defensive lineman was JT Turner. Who really did a nice job of plugging that hole there in the middle. You know, what's the next step for JT here? Well, JT, JT came in last spring. He's never played defensive line. Uh, he was always off his line. He comes from a great program over at Lord Bod Todd. And it took him some time to learn. And then slowly he just kept on getting better and better. And toward the end of the year, he really became an impact player, a guy who really couldn't take off the field. And I really expect him to take another step this year, moving into a role of you know being that dominant player on an every down situation. Um, JT, JT's a 4.0 student. I don't know if he's ever going to be in his life. He's at he's working out three times a day for Christmas. He had defensive line uh, uh, coaching from another coach over in his area. He He's developing into a kid that's going to be exceptional. He, he's a kid that I enjoy coaching every single day. He's a kid I enjoy being around. He's one of the best. He's one of the absolute best. Coach Elliott mentioned in our overall defensive unit uh, preview that Nathan Lease was the guy that's really come on here and, and, you know, with winter workouts and now here early in, in, in spring ball. You know, along with Nathan, who are some younger guys you're really looking to you know, kind of mature? Well, I think uh, the first one that comes to mind is Dylan Brassy. Dylan Brassy has come a long way. Uh, he came in, he was kind of new to uh, the college game. He didn't really know what was going on, but he came in and he keeps getting better every single day. Tyler Jones is another one. He's moved uh, from the linebacker position. He's moved down to the defense line, and I think he's, he's exploded so far this spring. And I'm, I'm incredibly excited to see what he'll do this the rest of the spring. Uh, Amara Kramal, uh, he came in, he, he was like a baby giraffe. He had no idea what he's doing, but he's continually gotten better week in and week out. He's just eating in the weight room. And then uh, Garvin Stewart, um, you know, he, he's been banged up, but he got cleared later on uh, last week. And I'm excited to get back to work with him. Uh, so, I mean, there, there's a lot of young guys that are growing really fast, and they're, they're just fun to be around.